Hi, I'm Mike Gagnon from VetCorp, and we're here to talk about the liquid cooled uh, uh, cooling solution that VetCorp offers. If you look in this graphic here, uh, the rear door heat exchanger is, is the core of the, uh, the liquid cooled solution. It is a close couple liquid cooled heat exchanger that attaches to most any of the industry leading enclosures and it has a uh, coil built into it that is a passive device. There's no electricity required, there's no moving parts and it attaches to the back of the enclosure maintaining the same cooling um, uh, topology that's in the data center. Cold air comes into the enclosure, the rack mount devices heat up the air and it ejects it out the back through our door. The door, because it's passive, relies on the uh, rack mount devices to eject the air out of the enclosure. So uh, again, there's no electricity, so it's highly efficient. The operating expense of the system is, is very low compared to other, other cooling solutions. Uh, another part of the solution is the coolant distribution unit, and that's the heart of the system. It pumps the cold water uh, from the chilled water supply. Two, diff two separate loops, it, it pumps the cold water to each of the rear door heat exchangers. It's an active monitoring and management device, it monitors the temperature and the pressure so that as customers take away uh, equipment or add uh, heat generating equipment, it monitors that temperature and makes adjustments to the flow so that the customers don't have to constantly check the devices and automatically adjust for the increase in heat densities. Uh, it also monitors the, uh, the dew point. Another key differentiator for our product is that it operates at two degrees above dew point, so there's no need for any condensate uh, pumps or, or, or lines. It's 100% sensible cooling. Okay? So between the two devices, um, we, we have shown that the efficiency of the system is on average 40% more efficient than perimeter crack units. If I could show you. So it's a, it's a very simple simple device and it's very reliable because no moving parts. But you take a standard enclosure, take the rear door off the uh, the enclosure, and in this particular case, this vendor has chosen to uh, integrate the door directly to their door frame. On most other enclosures, we design a transition frame that attaches to the to the frame itself, and then our door attaches to that, so that a customer only has to order one rear door heat exchanger and then a variety of transition frames for all the different enclosures he has. So it's very flexible. You notice it's only four and a half inches deep, so it, it only extends into the hot aisle four and a half inches at most. It does not consume any floor space like some other supplemental cooling devices. It doesn't um, mount overhead so that it, it, it interferes with overhead cable trays. Uh, the door itself, uh, it's only 60 pounds, very easy to take off. It uses quick connect couplings at the bottom, so it's very easy to move about. If you want to detach it, move the rack. Yeah, it's, it's very easy to, uh, to maneuver about. There's only one and a half gallons of water going through the device. And as I said, right now we've got this designed to uh, integrate with a wide variety of leading uh, enclosure manufacturers and we're working with even more to make it compatible with a wide variety of enclosures. Uh, what we've shown by using this door is that you can actually uh, reduce your white space requirements by over 50 percent because you don't need as many crack units. Uh, this, these, this door will actually cool well over 30 kW depending on your uh, operating conditions. What we say is for your typical operating conditions, we can neutralize 100% of a 20 kW load. Thereby, you, you don't need any uh, crack units per se to, to provide the cooling. You could have 70 degrees air coming in, 70 degrees air coming out, which in itself allows you to not have to have a hot aisle, cold aisle arrangement. All the racks can face the same way. Because of the efficiency of the unit, it's passive. The CDU does consume electricity. Our maximum uh, draw for our largest unit is 2,500 watts, so you could have 10 to 12 enclosures being fed by the CDU, so therefore you could have um, basically 200, 250 watts per total system per door. Okay, Compare that to some other devices which are well over 1,000 watts per, per cooling solution. So it really cuts down on your energy cooling consumption significantly. And it allows uh, higher density enclosures within the data center. You can go from 5kW to 25kW very easily by attaching the door and maintaining your existing cooling infrastructure. 
uh, total cost of ownership, uh, we have uh, a TCO calculator that you can plug in your parameters of your data center and it'll, it'll show you what the payback is. And typically, compared to perimeter crack units, we're showing uh, less than a one-year payback period. A lot of that is because of the operating costs. With, uh, you know, the crack units, you know, industry experts say that crack units generate two and a half times more cooling than's truly required. With this being able to be close coupled, right at the rack level and neutralized you know, on average 20 kW, it reduces the amount of uh, crack usage that's necessary.